So looking at the stats, it does seem to be better, I guess, in terms of only status, weirdly enough, which is, you know, something, I guess, but we got about more magazine, guess a quicker lead, quicker reload, a bit more damage, and more crit chance on the auto. Which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's an upgrade. I mean, I guess you could call it that. You know, I'll call it an upgrade. But yeah, I finally did get my hands on this thing. It took me some time to do. But I finally have it. And I actually put a quite an interesting build. I wasn't really sure that this could actually match up with the damage that other weapons do because Fulman at this point it's a great weapon but it, it is kind of underpowered at this point because of all the other weapons that have come out since you know since Wisp came out to be honest so I wasn't really sure how the weapon would perform let me see what well, yeah I guess I could do exterminate but I actually think that it can hold its own, even if you don't have a ribbon. I think you can do pretty decent damage with it. These foes All right, deserve so your respect. In Honor here, them with quick let's deaths, see. And I with your victory. So I've basically gone for a status for five and really relying on the more status that you get with the prime itself at least especially on the semi-automatic weapon uh stuff i forgot what it's called whatever but yeah with the semi you could definitely do some damage if you have a very and i am using for the first time in my life actually hunter munitions i know i was one of those ones one of those people that I guess, or maybe the only person that didn't want to use it because I just kind of felt weird using that because I didn't want to like stand around and let the slash rod kill the person. But if you want to take it and steal path and you know possibly do any damage to those heavy gunners and those bombards, you are going to need that slash rod because without it, the weapon is kind of not worth using. If you don't have much munitions on it, you might as well be using something else. But as you can see, it's, you know, it's doing its damage, it's holding its own. You know, I would say I'm pretty surprised by the damage with the Stay semi. Focused. And I guess with the auto, it just is just, I mean, better damage than you know, the foam in itself, I guess. Which is, you know, of course. But I don't think anybody's going to be using this mode. I guess you could use this mode to kind of stack up your buffs. Kind of stack up Deadhead or maybe, you know, the other buffs that you have. But other than that, I mean, you know, it, it does its job. But yeah, all in all, it is seems to be doing a pretty good amount of damage. If you have a quick status hybrid. God damn it, where is a heavy gunner? That's what I'm looking for. I want to see the damage there. Well, if I don't find... Oh, well, Stalker. Is that Stalker? But oh, that's probably an Acolyte. I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's an acolyte. Oh, it's this one. Oh, this guy's annoying. Well, he's one shot city. Yeah, hopefully if I don't get a bubble on me. Oh, there you go. There's a maybe. Turn one, two. Yep, that was uh, pretty good. Oh, shit. Gotta get out of that. Gotta get out of that. This guy has some good shit. Don't kill me, bro. Oh, shit. He's working. He's trying. He's trying. Let me try. Come on. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Okay. There you go. Oh, those slash procs. See? See, the slash procs are so necessary because of that. Because, you know, 
And also, I think it really does work. Like, the punching munitions work well with this weapon also because you can just, you know, wait it out. Like, sometimes you're reloading or, like, you have to wait for, like, the ammo to come back. And, you know, the splash proc will probably end that fucking enemy by the time you reload anyway, so you can just move on to the next enemy. So I feel like that's kind of nice. That's uh, about, yep, and then I can just wait a second. I know this kind of sucks, but, you know, you can just kind of do it that way. But, you know, higher level enemies are going to have to need the slash proc, because if you don't have it, then it's just going to be pretty impossible. You could, you'll could you just be dumping rounds. I think, I mean, you might have to, like, shoot, like, once or twice more if you don't have the munitions, but just having the munition itself, having the hunter munitions there, just gives you that little bit of extra help that you just might need. And let me get the fuck out of here. Where the fuck are you at? Alright. Let me get the fuck out of here real quick. Alright, I'm here. So, the build I did end up going for is... Actually, I put like too much forma into this because I was trying everything that I could just to see if I could squeeze out a bit more damage out of it trying all sorts of different mods because honestly I you know I haven't really played the game in a while so I just kind of wanted to test out if, like some things have changed or not it doesn't really seem like there is any sort of change but the build that works for me at least and for me it seems to be doing the kind of damage uh, I can regularly do without really worrying about you know me having some sort of disadvantage is going for a pretty much a hunter munitions and a crit status hybrid which is you know you have hunter munitions you have the critical delay vital sense of course you have the galvan chambers I have amalgam serration you can use regular serration doesn't matter and then I went for these two because it seems to me in in but I've tested it out to me it seems like having that additional status that you get from these three is much more needed than the damage you could get by either replacing both of these or putting heavy caliber or putting some other mod to me it just seems a lot better and i know i mean sure you could go for a viral slash setup too i'm just not a big fan of viral so that's why and then galvanized aptitude is it this is basically like the equivalent like the primary equivalent of condition overload so you know this mod really seems to save this weapon in terms of taking it into the steel path especially i mean you know you don't really have to like put this mod here you can use something else if you're not going to go steel path with it but i'm assuming everybody is going to use this wherever they go and you would rather just have the mod on you and you know do the damage that it can do rather than not so i decided to go for that and of course deadhead because it's just a lot easier to keep up that stack and basically uh i think what you can do i mean i it, in the mission itself you don't really have to do it but here what i'm gonna do is switch to automatic well my control is fucked come on motherfucker come on there you go jesus and then you just basically try to get three kills at least so you can get the stack going and as you, as you get the stack going you need that deadhead stack of damage and as soon as you have it we can just decimate these and it's already you know even without like even the auto this is basically showcasing the automatic you know fire uh weapon fire it is pretty decent i mean you know these are like level 145 and i didn't get the third one are you fucking kidding me come on man you get a headshot you fuck there you go and then you switch over to auto and then you can just, you know, that's a two shot. You can just wait it out and it'll die with the, by the slash proc. Or you can just hit him three times and, you know, they'll be dead. Try to get a headshot. It's quite tricky with this. Or, you, you know, just wait it out or take him out. Not a big a deal. But about two of them should give you the slash proc. I think the third one just will, you know, 
overload it and just basically kill it. There you go. Yeah, I got lucky with the headshot. Gotta get lucky with that. Boom, that guy's dead. That one is dead too. Didn't even have to do anything. I do kind of hate the slash proc. The way that the slash kills work. But, I mean, they are effective. And they have existed for a while for a reason. So, you know, if you want to go for just a slash build... A slash viral build, I'm, ho I'm assuming it would work the same way. Maybe even a bit more effective, but I'm not really sure. But I personally just don't like running viral on my weapons. I just like Ferrosa because, you know, I'm kind of an old school guy. I just like running Ferrosa on everything. I haven't really gotten to, you know, using other elements or elementals or damage. I don't know what I'm saying, but there you go. You know, it does the damage. You don't have to worry about it. I could just, you know, let him bleed right there. Boom, there's one more. That should do it. Oh, never mind. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Okay, this one was unlucky. God damn it. But even without, like, you know, the slash proc, even if you don't do it, you could just always just four shot him. It's not that bad. I think, I think it's pretty decent. I mean, again, in my humble opinion, I know everybody's going to jump in and say, oh, you know, it's not, you, you can do better. Sure you can. You can do better with Arcane. You can do better with other buffs. But I'm just basically solely making the build for someone like me or someone who doesn't rely on any of the additional buffs that you can get outside of the weapon itself. Right, so if you don't have those, without it, you still can uh, pretty accurately and pretty consistently kill these high-level enemies. So, you know, I'd say it's a, uh, you know, go weapon. I don't know. I think it's fine. I feel like, you know, I don't know if I should have come back for this weapon. I don't know if I should have, you know, pretty much came back for... The weapon itself, I don't really give a fuck about Wrist Prime, who cares, I'm not a fan of support frames, I don't play with other people anyway, so, whatever, but I guess, you know, it's a cool weapon, I like it, it's a Prime, Prime, you have to get the Prime, because Primes are always better, kind of, and I guess in this regard, it would be, but, yeah, whatever.